As most of you know, Zara K um, is a friend and uh, a fellow ex-Muslim activist. She stuck her night, uh, neck out for a lot of people so they can, you know, this ex-Muslim movement needs people and above all, it needs more women, young women it needs so other women can inspire from them. That's the whole point of activism that people look at the other people and they say, oh, he's doing it. I can do it too. That's the whole point of activism, the kind of activism that we're doing. Uh, um, so, so we need more Zaras, not less Zaras. And the kind of work that we're doing at this point, it obviously attracts his fair share of uh, criticism and even attacks. Um, Zara K, what's, what's been happening with Zara K is a clear reminder that what can happen to activists like us. Um, Tanzania was supposedly a, is still supposedly a secular country, but it has a very strong local Koja Shia Itnashari community, um, which is a, a fringe sect of Islam. It's not a major sect of Islam, but it's the major sect of Islam in Tanzania. Um, it, so they couldn't get Zara under blasphemy. So they said, okay, what else can we do? Let's see if we can get her, go after her some other way. Let's pull up some charge. Um, and a lot of people, these self-righteous, you know, uh, people have been, had been complaining on internet, leaking some, uh, on the back of leaking some really stupid screenshots. And I'll come to that. There's nothing in those screenshots. Um, have been saying, oh, well, but she did break the law. She didn't surrender her passport or she uses her, her family member's SIM card, uh, her... And someone gave an analogy. Look, if I if I'm uh, if I'm arrested for uh, or if I'm given a fine for speeding, then that doesn't mean that uh, you know that that is because I am an ex-Muslim. Well, it depends where it's done. Um, and I've quoted this before that there was a very nice um, uh, line from a TV show, uh, from my favorite TV show, Suits, in which Jessica says uh, Jessica Pearson, the lead actress, says, uh, if a cop follows you long enough, he's going to find a broken tail line. So basically, the point of that is that if, if someone set off cops on you, they're going to find something on you. Um, and this is exactly what happened. So nobody randomly goes and knocks on your door and says, oh, Harris, you know, five years ago, you said something about someone and we're here to investigate that. Or if you, and I said this before, that when I went to Italy, um, I took out two SIM cards, one under myself and one under my partner's name. No, sorry, both under my name, but one for myself, one for my partner. And what happened? You know, like, I mean, I didn't even think for a moment. And again, look, it's ignorance, uh, and I admit it, but this ignorance is not worthy of delaying you. And, and now just run that through your head. In Italy, a cop comes out of nowhere, knocks on my hotel room and says, hey, you know, you've got two SIM cards under your name, but you're, you've got you've given one to your partner. Well, we're going to arrest her. It's like, what? This is by in our legal system. It's a crime. OK. And then what would be the crime for a petty crime like that? Unless obviously you're involved in, you know, the T the activities, the, the boom boom activities. What would be the biggest crime? The 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 penalty for it few few dollars fines maybe a few hundred dollar fines that's it uh, maybe if if it's really a lot maybe ban me from uh, from ever entering Italy even that would be very harsh but let's just say but then you get on with it you'll move with it but they haven't actually done anything yet for Zara you know we've been saying that there are three points that they've been um, investigating her on one obviously not using a SIM card that's not under her name not not surrendering her Tanzanian passport. And number three is um, uh, making posts that were critical of the president. Now, those posts were critical of the president uh, when she was in the UK. Now, all those people who say, oh, oh, she should have known better. Well, if you guys ever end up in Hong Kong and then, you know, uh, some Chinese security forces arrest you because they held a grudge because you once made a, made a post or tweet that was critical of the Chinese government and it went viral, and they created a file on you. Don't look at us. Don't look towards us to help you. Not that we can ever help you anyway when it comes to China. <laughs> but, but you know, at but at least we won't be saying that. Ah, oh, I should have known better. Why did he go to Hong Kong? No, I didn't go to China. Hong Kong is semi-autonomous. No, it's not. 
whatever. So you're going to get it. And Tanzania, as I said, is not a Muslim country. Either. It's Christian majority, secular country. And the local Koja Shia Itna Shahari uh, community has no power over the mainland Tanzania. But, you know, but it's a sizable uh, minority. And, uh, um, and uh, they, they, they can pull some strings. And that's what they did. So what happened? Now, this is the whole scenario of what actually happened with Zara. And we've been as, as transparent as anyone can be. We, we can't obviously share every bit of tiny detail, but we can, uh, that there's none of us, I can proudly say that nobody that is watching this case very closely, or, you know, we, I'm trying to be, to stay in touch with some sources on the ground in Tanzania. None of us, and I can bet, uh, and I can bet all those people as well, none of them have lied or misled you anything. As I said, we can't share every bit of information and that's perfectly reasonable. You have to be a world-class idiot to think that we're going to discuss a legal strategy online and Twitter or whatever. We're only going to um, sh reveal information that we see is bet best for her defense. We think our friend is innocent. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.